Hi, I'm Matthew Coast, head dating coach and founder of CommitmentConnection.com. And in this video, we're going to talk about how to get a boyfriend. Um, so I've got kind of, if you don't know how to really go about getting a boyfriend, you could be single for a very, very long time. And so um, it's very important that you know what's going on and, and uh, what kind of steps you need to take in order to get a boyfriend. And so here are... Uh, four very important steps that you need to take in order to get a boyfriend. And the first one is to get the attention of a guy that you like. Now, I, I just want to kind of preface this and say that you need to be careful here. Um, a lot of women mistake attention and attraction, right? Um, so getting a guy's attention doesn't mean necessarily that he's you know, fully attracted to you, especially emotionally. Um, he might just be, you know, um, uh, getting, you might just be getting his attention because there's a sexual interest or a sexual uh, something going on there. But um, men need, uh, most men need you to show a man some kind of indication that you want him to come talk to you and uh, be interested in you. Otherwise, he won't approach you. And so um, you need to get him his attention in some way. And, and sometimes this could just be a look. It could just be a smile. Um, it could just be something uh, very simple. Um, I talk a lot about how to get guys to approach you uh, in other videos and podcasts and different things on my website. Um, the second thing that you need to do is to encourage him to pursue you um, by showing some interest, but not coming on too strong, right? There's kind of these two, this duality where the, you're like, you know, coming on way too strong, and then there's this other side where you're not showing any interest, and there's there's a middle ground there that you want to be in, where you're um, uh, showing a man that uh, you're attracted to him, and you're encouraging him to pursue you, but you're not like, you know, being crazy and needy and stuff like that. And the best way to do this is to uh, um, tell him it's hot or attractive when he does things that you want him to do. Um, so if he, you know, opens a door for you or he, you know, um, uh, calls you or something, you can be like, oh, you know, if he calls you, you could be like, oh, I love, I just love hearing your voice. Thanks for calling me. You know, and, and it's just being encouraging. Um, or you could say, uh, your voice sounds really sexy or your voice sounds really hot. Like that's um, very encouraging and it's kind of sexualizing it and it's showing interest, but it's not coming on like super strong, um, which is where you want to be. The third thing is making sure that he's interested in something long term. Um, a guy can be interested in you, but only want something casual. He can treat you like a girlfriend, but only want something casual. And so you need to find out whether he's interested in something long term or not. And the best way to do that is to uh, talk about people that are in long term relationships and just tell a story about it and you know talk about how attractive it is and um, just see what how his you know what his reaction is to that um, and if he's you know tries to avoid the topic or doesn't want to talk about it um, then it'll tell you a lot about you know what his thoughts are on <laughs> long-term relationship type stuff um, so uh, the last thing that you need to do is make sure that uh, he has a deep emotional connection with you before you sleep with him. Um, a lot of women make this mistake and they end up getting uh, guys that ghost or disappear or whatever you want to call it, pull away from him. Um, if you want a guy to stick around after you sleep with him, you need to make sure that you have an emotional connection with him. And I talk a lot about that in other videos and on my website and tons of different places. That's it for this video. If you want more information on how to attract a quality man into a committed, lasting relationship, make sure you go to my website at commitmentconnection.com and take my quiz. I'm Matthew Coast, and I'll speak with you again soon.